Hello Atomy members, this is Sarah from the customer service team. This is going to be the first of our CS video series where we'll be helping you with some of the issues you've been facing on our website. So today I'm going to be helping you with the verification process at Atomy UK. Some of our members have asked us what's the difference between a consumer member and a distributor member. Consumer members are members that will have access to our Atomy UK shopping mall and the distributor members will be able to earn commission with us at Atomy UK. So to start off with, I'm going to um, upload some documents as if I was a distributor member. So as you can see, I'm on the Atomy UK website and I've just clicked edit my account. And I'm now gonna go to application for distributor convert. So as you can see, for UK members, there's a few documents that you will need to upload. The first of which is an ID document. Most ideally, this would be a passport or driver's license. But if you don't have one of these or you're unsure about your ID document, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us at customer service. So first of all, I'm going to attempt to upload my ID document. So say I have a passport. I'm going to put in the passport number like so. And then I will go to my documents and put the passport document like so. Next is the bank document. For UK members, we will need the sort code and account number for your bank account details. So you can simply choose your bank account here, or if you can't find it on the screen, you can click direct input. So I'm just putting in the sort code and bank account number, and then I will upload my bank document like so. And finally, we will need the national insurance number. Some members have asked, why do we need the national insurance number? This is just to prove that you're eligible to pay taxes in the country, as we will be paying you commission payments. So I'm just gonna put in my national insurance number and then upload the document like so. And click confirm. So now it says it has been successfully processed and it will be sent to us, the CS team, to check and verify your documents. Okay, so now I will show you how to upload the verification documents as an EU member. So as you can see, the process is pretty similar, but there are a couple of differences. Similarly to the UK, uh, EU members will have to upload their passport or ID document. This document must be the document from the country that you are applying for. For example, I am applying as a Spanish member, so I will need to upload my Spanish passport number, like so, and then I will upload the photo of my passport document. Next is the bank document. As we mentioned in the UK, you would need your sort code and account number. With EU members, we will need the IBAN number and BIC and SWIFT code. So I will put in my BIC code, like so, and upload the BIC document. Next, I need my IBAN number. So for example, I will be putting in my IBAN number, like so, and then upload the IBAN document that will show my IBAN number and my name. It is important that we can see the name on all the documents that you upload so that we can verify it is yours and the same as the account name you have with Atomy UK. Finally, you will need to upload the tax identification number document, aka TIN document. Similarly with the NI document for UK members, this will be able to verify if you are eligible to pay taxes in the country that you are living in, so you will be able to legally receive the commission payments you get from Atomy UK. So I'm now just uploading the TIN document as my final document. Like so, and then click confirm. Okay, so in the case that your documents have failed, you will receive the email like so. So when you open the email, you will be able to see that your verification is on hold and you will be able to re-upload the verification documents once more. You can also see the reason why you failed. In this case, it says that they can't see the name on the bank document. In these cases, we will need to see a clearer document. Please do not upload any blurry documents and documents that are too small for us to verify. On the verification email, you can see the button here, retry verification. 
By clicking this button, it will take you directly back to the login page of Atomy UK and I will re-enter my Atomy ID and password. Once in my account, I can then go to edit my account, click application for distributor convert, where I originally clicked to upload the documents for the first time. And there I will be able to again, re-upload the documents more clearly. Once you have uploaded all the documents again, please click confirm. So now it says verification is in process and it has once again been sent to our CS team for verification. So now I can see I've received the final email to let me know that I have successfully completed the verification process and I am now a distributor member with Atomy UK. So once you go back to the Atomy UK website, you will be able to log in and you will be a distributor member with Atomy UK. Thank you for watching this video. In the description box below, we'll leave a link to our channel Atomy, where you can find more detailed information about the various verification documents. Please feel free if you have any questions at all to get in touch with me or the rest of the customer service team. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.